Hi, it's John Lane from TaxSaleList.com. If you're not familiar with TaxSaleList.com, we're the website that provides tax sale lists over 10,000 a year and has done so for the past 11 years. We also provide the only tax sale training done by somebody who's been a major buyer of tax liens, purchased over 77,000 tax properties over the last 20 years. Today, we're going to talk about something that a lot of people don't understand and what that is what is the most important single due diligence trick you should understand and it's very simple it sounds silly at first but you have to make sure you always know what you're bidding on more money is lost by people who bought the wrong property than any other error why does that happen there are a number of different reasons let's assume the address is 101 Main Street in that county, there might be six or seven different main streets. Each little town may have a main street. How do you determine which 101 main street you're looking for? There are a couple of ways. First, if possible, you get the zip code for the one you're looking for. If that's not possible, go to the assessor's office and check the parcel number on a plat map so you know which town the one you're looking for is located in. Keep in mind that straight street names often will be repeated within a county. Another one to make sure is to always have the assessed value for land and for improvements available when you're looking at a particular address, whether in person or online. There are a couple of reasons for this. There are some places where the address they use is the nearest address to the property, meaning that the property does not have its own address, often because it's a vacant lot. If you have the assessed value for land and improvements and the address you're looking at has a really nice house on it, but the assessed value says there is no improvement, you better look for the nearest vacant lot. To sum it all up, there are a number of ways you can determine that the property you're looking at is the correct property. We spend over three hours in our workshop going over the due diligence procedures. It's absolutely critical that you know what a property is that you intend to bid on. As an example, let's assume 101 Main Street appears three places in the county. One is a beautiful house, another is a junkyard, and the third is a vacant lot that is part swamp. Don't guess. Make sure you know which one is the correct property. If you'd like to learn more about tax sales, we regularly hold a free one-hour webinar that will answer your questions about tax sales. To register, just go to http colon slash slash www.taxsellist.com slash free slash 290 or click the link below in the description. It's John Lane. Thanks for joining us. See you on the inside.